<laughs> Hello, welcome to the outside. Welcome to trees, greenery, <laughs> woodland, and me out of breath. <laughs> we have been given a small gateway to visit the outside. And from this Wednesday, we want to encourage people to take more and even unlimited amounts of outdoor exercise. You can sit in the sun in your local park, you can drive to other destinations, you can even play sports only with members of your own household. As long as we all keep to social distancing, we're now allowed back out uh, to the countryside for walks, exercise, and to take a photograph. They said it's okay to do golf, okay for fishing, okay for sports, social distancing. So what's wrong with taking a few photographs? Can't be any worse than fishing, can it? Sitting there with a fishing rod on a stick. So we've come out late on, it's evening time. Yes, I'm with Mrs. C. You haven't seen her for a while, have you? And we're both panting, we're both out of breath. We've done a very small walk. We've driven 11 miles to get here. We've not seen many cars on the road, but look at this, countryside. Haven't seen this for eight weeks, not properly anyway. There's a few people out, not many, basically just enjoying the outside and the outdoors a little bit. I'm all I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna set up and hopefully take one shot, one shot of the big scene, one shot of the sunset as it drops down below the clouds and hopefully illuminates some of this higher cloud above us. So that's the plan. Just keeping away from people. There's people up here enjoying the country and some fresh air away from their house probably. <laughs> so that's the plan. So I'm going to shut up, take some of this in, get my tripod out and just wait for that sun just to drop below the cloud there. But it's nice, it's nice being out. Right, so we've got the camera set up. Um, quite a simple composition, really. In all fairness, there's not a great deal of, of stuff actually on the edge of the on the edge of this sandstone trail. Uh, but what I wanted to try and do is get a little bit of the sandstone leading out into the image. So I've got a little bit of fern down there leading off into the image. I've got a tree that's covering up most of the buildings and I've got a quite a bright light tree on the bottom right hand corner which is just holding the bottom right hand side of the image. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to get that amazing sun against the clouds because there's a bank of cloud right off in the distance. Um, but the camera's set up anyway. I'm going to set up on bracketing and I'm going to be bracketing two overexposed and two underexposed to make sure I get all the details because I've got no filters on. Uh, I might try a polarizer, but I very much doubt I need it. Um, I'm at F11 and I've focused on the tree, um, which is about 15, 20 foot away from us. Um, so everything should be in focus from there on into the distance. And that's all we're going to do now, just sit and wait for it to happen. So uh, I'll come back when we're ready to take the photo. As you can see, red coat's gone on. And um, look at this. It's a bit tight around the old seams. I've put on a few pounds since not being out and not walking around. Um, as you can see, I've also come up higher. Uh, I did have the tripod down a little bit lower, wasn't I? But um, the couple that were sat up here on the top have disappeared. So I've gone for a slightly wider angle, um, taking in all of this shelf um, that's leading you out. So I've got this nice shelf of the rocks leading you out into the scene. Then you've got the tree down the bottom, still covering up some of the town area and then the sky and the sun. Um, we're not going to get the light. Uh, it's not going to be an epic vlog. It's not going to be anything fancy. Um, 
the sun's just it, it started to break through a little bit you can just see it there it started to break through a little bit and it was just casting some light on some of the some of the higher clouds over near it but it's not cast it's not pushed through to catch any of these clouds and now it's starting to drop down behind that haze and uh, the low cloud over in the distance so uh, we're not going to get any fantastic light i've taken the shot already because i didn't have the opportunity to change it um, to get you and take it at the time so I set out, I took the shot, I had you actually, the camera that you're, I'm, I'm holding at the moment, I was actually doing a little bit of a time lapse just to see if I could try and get the, you know, the sun coming down just to add to a bit of B-roll. Um, so, I, I, you know, I didn't take the, didn't take the shot with you. Um, but what I have done is I've bracketed the shot. So I've shot five exposures, uh, two underexposed and two overexposed um, to try and get a balance between the very dark foreground and the, you know, the, the quite bright sky. Um, and it worked quite well, in all fairness. Um, you're doing what? She's, she's, she's doing something. She said it's raining. She said she's got rain on her glasses. <laughs> Doesn't want to rain while we're here. Um, but it's just nice listening to the birds, listening to the peace and the quiet. Because if you stop talking, if I stop talking for a minute, just listen to the silence. You can't hear any cars in the distance. There's no one out. It's it's really quite nice um, and peaceful so yeah I've, i did the five shot bracket and then i've put it on to single shot and i'm now two underexposed just exposing for the sky because the, the foreground isn't changing the light isn't changing on the foreground this is all staying exactly the same so i thought it's wasted time me doing bracketed shots for the bottom i've already got that image um, so i've just been watching the light go down so we're going to hang around for a little while we're going to have a stand here and just just live yeah just keep soaking this in because it's just nice it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's a nice evening. I don't think it's going to rain. Uh, there's no real clouds above us. There's a vapour trail though, got a nice vapour trail. So someone's actually managed to get on an aeroplane. Um, what's the date? The date is 16th of May, um, if you're wondering when it is. So yeah, it's just uh, three days, three days, four days after we've had that tiny little window from Mr. Johnson. Um, you can see from here, we're actually on the Bickerton, Bickerton Hill, aren't we? Um, this is one of the part of the sandstone trail and if you look over into the distance right over there that's Liverpool um, just switching the lights on and uh, down that way towards Queen's Ferry you're obviously into Wales which we're not allowed in at the moment Wales is still on complete lockdown um, and then it goes over to the you know the mountain ranges you can see over in the distance I'm not sure which ones they are you've got Mulvama will be just over there somewhere around there like I say, you've got Queen's Ferry, I think it is, down that direction, Liverpool, and then as you come round over the back that way, you then start to get to Manchester and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what I might do, I might hang around here. We're in no rush to go back. We've had our tea, so uh, I think we might hang around here for a little while, let it go a little bit darker and see if I can get some of these lights on the houses to switch on, and then I can maybe just paint those little lights back in, just a bit of a difference, because there's some lights going on over there in the background. So, uh, yeah, that might make quite a nice touch to the image but it is just a one shot um, just to say hello and we're out see that over there see that over there what are you waving mr. to oh mr o yeah yeah mr o mr o if you're watching this or when you're watching this we're waving to you he lives just over there uh that sort of direction like i said queen's ferry way so hello we can we can't quite see you but we're waving anyway <laughs> right i'm going to shut up and uh, just enjoy this bit of an image and i know it's nothing special but uh it's nice to get the camera out. It's nice to have the tripod out. It's nice to have my bag on my back, even though it's heavy. I still enjoy having it on my back. And it's just nice being out. Well, I have a feeling that's about it for this evening. There's not many lights switching on down here. Uh, it's obviously not quite dark enough, um, but it's that time of the year with it being May and uh, these midges have only had beef to chew on for the last eight weeks and they've suddenly found me and I've got sweet blood apparently and they like to eat me and I'm getting munched on. So the midges are in force 
and it's only the middle of May. <laughs> so God help us. Uh, I don't think they're rain. I think it's just a, the wispiness. A bit of stratus clouds going on in the top. Being clever, eh? Um, so yeah, it was nice. Um, nice being out with the camera. Nice doing a bit of a normal vlog. Um, I'm going to pack away in a moment. You can see the tripods just, just there up on the edge. And we are quite high up. Um, this is quite a, it's quite a way up here. It's, I've brought you up here once or twice before in the past. Uh, Denise is just sitting, taking it all in. I'm going to say thanks for watching this. I know it's a bit of a strange one. It's a bit of a, bit of a new one. You probably haven't seen me. If you're new to me and new to some of the stuff we've been doing while we've been on lockdown, uh, this is the sort of thing we like to do: get out in the countryside and just enjoy the outside. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'm hopefully doing a sunrise tomorrow morning. So fingers crossed we'll get something. Even if it's raining, I'm going out anyway. So uh, till next time. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs>